Real estate thoughts on the ranch. 1031 exchange versus a cash out refi. What are they? What are the differences? And what do I prefer? So a 1031 exchange basically is a tax deferred strategy. That's all it is. You're selling an asset. You're going to take the profits, roll it into a larger asset by at least a dollar. And you're going to defer taxes on it. Now, there are other things like uh, opportunity zones, but we're only talking about a 1031 exchange right now. So again, you're just kicking the can down the road. You're going to still pay taxes when you ultimately sell and liquidate. But until you do that, you're deferring taxes, just like a retirement account. That's it. Now, a refinance, a cash out refi, somebody will call it is basically taking out additional loan dollars from the same asset because hopefully you've improved the value of that asset, right? So that's the big difference. When you do the 1031 exchange, you no longer have the property you sold, right? So now you've rolled it into a bigger property. On a cash out refi, you still have the asset. You took out additional loan dollars. You deployed those hopefully into another asset. Now you can go burn it in Vegas if you want, but you put it into another asset. Now you have two assets sprung from the first asset. I prefer that. There are no tax consequences at all. It's not kicking the can down the road with a uh, cash out refi. They're loan dollars. They will never be taxed. You never get taxed on loan dollars. So that's why I prefer that. You continually stack assets, drive up your cash flow when you do a 1031 exchange. Not a bad idea. I've done them. But you're kicking the can down the road. You no longer have the first asset. You only have one asset, a bigger asset, but you only have one. And again, those taxes will come to you. That's why I prefer doing a cash out refi every chance I get.